Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 208. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 203 to 210. Hey, in trick 208, we want to talk about the amazing keyboard shortcut, Control Enter, and why it's so efficient to use. We'll look at six different examples. All right. Um, Let's click in this cell right here, and we have some sales data, but we need labels up here. We need day one, day two, day three, day four. So let's type day one, and most of us hit enter, and then click back up here, and then copy this over, or we hit enter, and then arrow up, and then copy it over. However, if your goal is to put the word in the cell, and then you immediately want to do something to that cell, like copy it, use Control and tap Enter. That, keep, that puts the thing in the cell, keeps the cell highlighted, and then you simply click and drag. A formula does the same, has the same benefit from using Control Enter. I'm going to use Alt Equals, which is the keyboard shortcut for AutoSum. I'm going to highlight that range. And now our goal is to put the formula in the cell and then do something to the cell, which is copy. So we'll use Control Enter. And then I'll double click and send it down. So we did a word and a formula. Now what about formatting? Sometimes you have, <coughs> here we have an average formula. And not only do I need to copy down, but I need to immediately format that cell before I copy it down. So if you have something that you're putting in a cell and you immediately want to format that cell, how about control enter? Better than enter and then clicking back up. Oh, I um, didn't mean to have that. Let's just say it was like that format. So w we need to format this so we would use some sort of currency like control shift 4 for currency or accounting or whatever you're doing. Then you double click and send it down. So putting a word in a cell and then uh, immediately copying it, a formula immediately copying it, or uh, a word or a formula which you immediately want to do some formatting. All three reasons when you have one cell highlighted and you're uh, going to use control enter for efficiency. Now let's see what happens when we highlight more than one cell. Our goal here is to populate these all of these cells with the max of uh, the relative cell references for day one to day three. So we'll um, notice when we highlight a bunch of uh, a range like this, there's an active cell. That's the light colored one. Now watch this. I'm going to hit enter, enter just to make this hard on us because you got to be aware sometimes the active cell is not right at the top. So when you start to type your formula, it'll appear in the active cell. So I'm going to say equals max. And what I tend to do sometimes when I'm not thinking it and I'm in a hurry, I'm like, I just highlight here, right? And I control enter and then it doesn't work. But really, we want to be aware that that's the active cell. So we want to go to the relative cell references right there. Now, when I control enter, notice I can keep that parenthesis off the end. Now, when I control enter, it populates all the cells with the formula. <coughs> Another great trick, which we've seen in lots of other videos. If you want to highlight, um, you have a big chunk of data, and you have a bunch of blanks where you want zeros. Uh, I don't want to highlight them one at a time using my control trick. Here, it would be just as fast to do that. But if you have a huge set, why not use go to blanks? I'm going to use F5, which is go to, and then special, and then blanks. And when you click OK, it highlights all of the uh, blank cells. Non-contiguous is the word they use, which just means these cells aren't next to each other. Now watch this. Um, the active cell is right here. What if I hit Enter? Did you know you can move the active cell among uh, non-contiguous cells? Right here is the active cell. When I type 0, notice it's there. But if I use Control Enter, it'll put it into all the cells. My favorite trick when it comes to that is since there's so much trouble in the world, I like to highlight, uh, let's go down here, highlight a bunch of cells. And uh, since uh, lots of trouble in the world, I like to then hit love and, and hit control enter. And then it puts love into all the cells. If only we could do that for the planet Earth. Not only that, but if there was uh, special areas that actually needed uh, a lot of love, you could uh, just highlight those areas and then control enter. And it would put love anywhere, everywhere. Let's look at another. A great use. This is my favorite use for control enter. I have some formulas here, and I'm going to highlight the range. And I need to edit 
this formula. So in the active cell here, I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to edit it. I need the round function because I'm uh, doing taxes here. I need to round to which rounds to the penny. So I've edited just this one formula because I've highlighted them all in advance. When I control enter, it populates all the cells with the edited formula. The final trick, of course, is uh, when you go to a job interview. Oops. <clears throat> and they ask you, uh, this is a finance job. They're like, OK, now finish this table here. And you're like, OK. You, they expect you to put a formula here, create it, copy it down, and then over, which is a bunch of extra steps. But you're like, no way. I highlight the whole range. And in the active cell, you do your future value formula here. And then you control enter. And boom, they say, well, why are all the fences there? And you're like, well, hey, <clears throat> I'll just double click here. And they're like, Wow, that was an amazing trick. How did you put that formula into all the cells? And of course, they say, uh, you get the job. All right, uh, Control Enter, uh, just an amazing, efficient way to put things into the cell one at a time or multiple cells. All right, we'll see you next trick.